Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a DIY peel off base coat using Elmer's white glue. This is the glue all multi-purpose extra strong formula. I've got a little cup of water and I have some dabs of glue out on my plate. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing different watered down versions. I'm kind of testing these. So I've got one dab that I'm going to leave full strength and then one dab that I've added one drop of water to and then this one's getting two drops of water and then three and then four kind of in a progression. So I'm just mixing these up on a little paper plate. I didn't want to mix up a whole bottle and um, you know not know. I want to know kind of what the ratio is. So we will find out at the end of the video how these peel off in their perspective water, watered down versions and the full strength version. So I'm just using like a little flat brush to mix them up and I'll be applying it with that little flat brush on some clean nails. So this is the full strength going on my thumb, just straight up out of the bottle. Just did a dab and I'm trying to apply it as smooth and evenly as possible. And there we go. I do like applying it with this brush though. I thought that was pretty cool. And I know this is a little lame, kind of going slow, but you know, this is what it is. This is how we test things. So this one going on my pointer finger is the one drop of water added to the drop of glue. And it's going on quite well, I'm not having any issues. And I'm going to break it woody out, so I'm going to do my cleanup because you guys know I'm going to do my cleanup. And on the middle nail is going the two drops of water per one drop of glue. I know a lot of you don't like to purchase things online and may not have any of the peel off bases. This is just an option. If you have, you know, some white Elmer's glue hanging around in your house, you, you might want to give this a try. And on this ring fingernail, I'm doing the three drops of water to one drop of glue. And that is, I am painting with my non-dominant hand here. So that one kind of looks like it was trying to break up a little bit, like it was too watery. So I did kind of brush over it a little bit more. Got Woody back out. Hey Woody, how you doing? I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. There we go. Yay, Woody! So down here on my pinky nail, I'm going to apply the one with four drops of water and one drop of glue. And it is much like the one I just did. I'm going to kind of keep brushing over it until I think it's covered. You can kind of see it because it's shiny at first, so you can tell if it's separating and trying to pull off your nail. Now I'm going to do a manicure. So I'm using this Romance by Kiss Gel Strong. I'm doing a manicure over this, of course. That's how we're going to test it. This is one of those wonderful Kiss Gel polishes. I'm sorry about the camera being blurry. I don't know why it's doing that. Did not notice it while filming. I'm sorry. So there we go. So all the nails are going to have two coats of color. There we go. That's much better. So we're doing two coats of color and a top coat on all of them. I will let you know that I did wear this manicure regular for two days and I'll give you an update a little bit on it here in a little while. I am topping it with Posh Top Coat <clears throat> and I'm going all out. I'm going to do some nail art on this because, you know, I, it's just how I work. I like nail art. Okay, I love nail art. Nail art is my jam. So there we go with our Posh Top Coat. I'm gonna let this dry down. I'll be using You Are Beautiful 04 and my Monocle Stamper, as well as my Beauty Scraper card. And I'll be using Pure Ice Silver Mercedes, not a stamping polish, just a regular polish, and Maybelline Color Show in the shade Bold Gold. I think both of these are retired colors. I did put on my Burt's Bees, I remembered, so we're gonna go in and do some stamping. I'm stamping in silver first. I'm cleaning off on my lint roller 
and using some acetone on that plate. And now we're going to go in with the gold and I'm stamping kind of right over it off to the side just a little bit just to play with it. I like this bubble image. I think it's pretty cool. So there we go. Clean that off. I'm going to be using this other image because I wanted to, you know, play. So I'm going to continue with the playing. <laughs> so I've already stamped it in the silver. And now I'm going to stamp the gold over it. Try to line it up. There we go. So now I have me a happy manicure. We're going to get this excess off with a piece of tape the best we can. And then we're going to use the cleanup brush with some acetone. Trying to get as much of it up as I can. Love, love, love it. Love the tape trick. And here we go with our final cleanup here. And this was a little wild manicure for me. I, you know, I normally either stamp in silver or gold, and today I just got crazy and did both of them. Now I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat, seal it all in, dry it down, and see how long I can wear this. Because that is what this video is all about. We're going to test this DIY white Elmer's glue as a peel off. I'm not the first one that's ever done this, by the way. <laughs> so there's that manicure in motion. <clears throat> I do have a swatch photo coming up. There it is. So now for the peel reveal. So here we go. This is the full strength glue. Just straight from the bottle, no water down. And I did wear this manicure for two days and I ended up having to take it off. We'll get to that here in just a moment. But that first one peeled up rather nicely. The other one just popped off while I was cooking dinner. Kept washing my hands too much. But after two days, you know, a lot of hand washing and showers, uh, you know, or shower, it, you know, it surprisingly lasted the two days. Now this one's a little tougher to get off, but not bad. And I know it looks like I'm just going all crazy on it, but I'm really not. I always like to go over to the edge and kind of get it started from the side. And in my opinion, I think the one drop of water was, was good. And um, I didn't really notice much difference between that and the regular, just straight out of the bottle. So you could do it either way. You could water it down. You could turn it. But if you water it down, you might want to do two layers of it. You know, put one coat on, let it dry, and then add another layer to it. But this did all peel off for the most part. I had very little left on the nail. So leave me a comment. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.